Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be doing a response to Drifter. Yeah, Drifter. He's a YouTuber I really, really like. I'm going to be doing a response video to his video he just put out 20 minutes ago. It is called I'm Trash at Fortnite and that really makes me mad. Or I think it's just, it makes me mad. Um, I really went into this video just thinking it'd be a funny video because the thumbnail is just... <laughs> The thumbnail is amazing, but I went into this just thinking, all right, this is going to be a funny video, um, just like another cool Drifter video, but no, I went out of this really, really, really related to what he said, and it honestly scares me how much I really relate to what he says. Not everything, um, but I really relate to it, so I'm going to be um, just going over some of the biggest points as if I went over every point, this would be like 40 minutes long. So, I'm going to be going over the biggest points that he mentioned in the video that I can relate to the most and just parts I feel like I need to respond to. So, yeah. Um, Drifter, if you ever watch this video, I think you're really cool, man. I watch your videos for hours a day and I- Oh my gosh, that would be so cool if you watched this. Um, but anyways, hope you enjoyed the video and yeah. Alright, so before we start out with any of the clips, I just want to first go over my stats and then Drifter's stats. So, here are Drifter's stats. He has 360 wins on PC. I'm not going to count any of the other consoles because I know he plays on PlayStation occasionally. Um, he has 2,994 matches played. Um, I think I already said he has 360 wins, um, 5,000 kills, uh, tw uh, 23 wins in solo, 80 wins in duo, 257 in squad. All right, and then here's my stats. I have 33 wins on PC. I also have a few other from another account. I'm on Xbox, I'm on mobile, all that. So, and also, if you look at matches played, I have 2,964. But I've actually played way more, uh, way more of that because I played on different accounts. I played on my Xbox, my PlayStation. So, I probably have the same or slightly a bit more than Drifter. I'm not completely sure. Now, look at the kills. I have 2,800 kills, and he has 5,000 kills. Um, he is better at Fortnite than me. I would probably say that. But also, I don't always go for wins. I usually just go for kills. I sometimes go for wins, but we'll get into that more later. I do have more solo, um, solo matches played than him, but he has more squad matches played than me. Um, but yeah, um, besides all of that, Drifter has more wins than me. He has just more, just in general, better stats than me. But we're not gonna really just push that too much. Um, I can definitely relate to what he says in this video still, but... Let's just keep going. With the, let's just get into the clips. Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got a video for you about my Fortnite skills because I am trash at Fortnite. And this first clip is perfect. I'm here first. I got the gun. They're running down there to fight over scraps. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna drink this slurp juice before. I go. Why, why? Why do you have a shotgun? And why are you coming up? It's okay. You know what? I'm just gonna land over here and I'm gonna grow. What? How did you even get there? That that. Go I don't even have a gun. Go away. Go away. Go away. <sighs> Alright, so immediately off the bat, I can extremely, extremely relate to this one. This has happened to me way more times than this has happened to you, Drifter. Constant, just unlucky, like, just RNG, bullcrap. I don't know what you'd call it, just unluckiness, um, just, I, I don't know. You know, like, you'll drop in, you got a good gun, and, oh, you're dead to someone who has a great attack, or... Oh, you're gliding in, and someone already has a gun, and they kill you right as you land. Or your squad's doing good, and then all of a sudden, it's blank happens, and it's stupid for blank reason. I know this by heart. I remember for a week, I played with one of my best friends, and for that whole week, this was happening almost every game, and I honestly wanted to quit the game for a while, because this would never ever stop happening and it drove me absolutely insane and I gave up for a little bit I honestly did because I couldn't take it anymore and I know this by heart and to be honest there's nothing that can really fix this I guess getting slightly better at pulling out guns getting materials faster I have no clue but immediately I can really relate to this one and it's a shame because Fortnite's a really good game and it can be very fun, but it's so hard for me. And like, I know there's a bunch of like edgelords in here that I'm like, ha ha, I played Fortnite too. It was such a trash game, it made me want to kill myself. No, Fortnite's a great game. It's a super well-designed game. People that hate on it generally are just, are just mad because that it's popular and it dethroned whatever other game they like. <laughs> I'm crying tears of joy right now because he's so right. He's so right. I have deal with so many people 
who are just edge lords and people who hate on the game. And that's the exact reason why. Is because they hate on it because it's popular and it dethroned the game that they like. Mm, Overwatch, maybe. Rainbow Six. Call of Duty. Uh, League of Legends. I don't know. Just some popular game. I don't know. Call of Duty can be argued about that. But I still do love me some Call of Duties. Um, but yeah. I can really, really, really relate to that. Just thank you. I've said this so many times, and it's so true. It's so true, and I might even make another video about that. I've considered it, and it's just so true. Thank you, Drifter. Thank you. And it is a really good game, and it is hard to just get good at it. It is, but let's keep going with the video. But I want to enjoy it, but I can't. And people see this when I stream sometimes, too. They, they see me struggling to hold back all of this anger to keep a clear head. And I don't always keep it together. Sometimes I flip out and get mad and say horrible things. And I'm terrified that one day I'm going to wake up and find out that Sean Ranklin has his own like low light of me for some day. And there's going to be like a whole new genre on YouTube of Drifter low light streams getting mad at Fortnite. And I also know that this goes against my image of a guy that's calm and cool headed and collected and talks about philosophy and math and all these really important political things. You know, that's a, that's a sort of cultivated image that I've worked on for a long time and I would say that that's that's me and not a hundred percent but I've actually worked hard to try to become that guy all right so drifter I don't think you really have to worry about this happening and the main reason why is just because mixer isn't really that popular yet and if I, I literally just looked up Mixer Rage compilation and yours and one other video pop up. Yours has 14,000 views and one has 43 views. Um, the only way people are going to find it is like the only reason I think you'll ever have a low light channel is if one of your clips go, d gets a decent amount of views. Like let's say 50 to 100,000 views then people might say ooh Drifter rages a lot or ooh who's this Drifter guy he rages a lot. Let's start making compilations of him raging. I just don't think you really have to worry about that happening. Um, I think you're kind of Gucci on that. You don't have to worry too, too much about that. Um, I do see your worries, though. And then you, your just reputation is just that guy who rages and not that guy who does the philosophical commentaries anymore. I understand that, and I hope that never happens. Um, I'm sort of the same way. Um, I rage a lot, and sometimes I don't really include that in videos because it makes me seem just not the same person because I do rage a lot. Sometimes I include it because it's really funny. Um, but I'm sort of known as the guy who's funny and nice. And I do, I am that guy. Just sometimes I do rage. And I don't want to be portrayed as that rude dude who just screams a lot and calls people trash and nerds and sweaty. So I understand that. And I also understand where you want to be that guy you are on the internet is this smart guy who does the philosophical commentaries. And I think you sort of are that in real life. I feel like you might be. Um, I don't really know you personally, Drifter. I wish, but um, yeah, I don't think you have to worry too much. Just try not to be who you're not. I think you are a smart guy in real life. So anyways, let's just get on to this next part. I don't want to drag this out for too much longer. And you're going to say, okay, well, you're mad at Fortnite because you're bad at it. Fortnite tilts you. You lose all the time. You're mad because bad, trash because bad, whatever. But what is it about Fortnite that makes me so incredibly angry that I do these things and I feel this way? And that's a hard question because games have almost always been calming. Even violent games, even games that are normally really tilty for people like League of Legends and Overwatch have overall been calming, nice experiences for me. Not that I've never gotten mad at League of Legends or Overwatch or whatever, but it wasn't even remotely on the same level as Fortnite. It was just like baby stuff. Okay, so this part I kind of did for a bit. Drifter saying that he gets mad because he's bad at Fortnite. And I sort of more get mad at Fortnite because I feel like I deserve that win more than other people do. And that's kind of an issue. I don't always think that. I sometimes just think, wow, that's really cheap that that guy just spammed a minigun the whole time and he won. And I was over here with dang great assault rifles and stuff. And I was getting 10 kills and this dude gets 2 kills and he wins. 
I just get mad at that a lot. Like, that happens all the time to me. Like, literally one time, I got killed by a guy spamming a minigun in Wailing Woods. And I had way more mats than him. I had way better guns than him. And I died to a minigun. And stuff like that makes me mad. Um, I do get mad at the same exact thing that I feel like I'm just not as good at these people. And I can't get as good as them. I just can't. And it's just... Ugh, I, I know how that is. It does suck. Um, by the way, Drifter, I don't think you're the worst Fortnite player ever. Um, I think you're an average like me. I'm not the greatest nor the worst. I'm maybe below average, maybe above average, maybe average. Whichever one, I think that's where I sit and I think that's where you sit. By the way, you have 300 wins. Even though in the later part of this video you're going to say that you're sort of just a sandbag to your teammates, I think that still takes some skill to get 360 wins that that's not the easiest thing in the world it's not you you did good man you you did good you, you did good like you're not the worst you're not the best um but yeah i feel like i'm gonna ramble on too much so i feel like this part was summarized the best um but i'm gonna keep going so yeah let's keep on going why am i talking like this let's just keep on going in comparison so i i gave it some thought and I, I realized it's because I'm bad at the game, but that's or I'm trash, but that's sort of a nuanced thing. I'm literally mad because bad, but being bad makes me mad because there's extra baggage that comes with it, which is what we're about to get to. So, first of all, nobody likes losing, right? Nobody likes losing badly or unfairly. Unfortunately, Fortnite makes me feel like I'm losing unfairly literally all of the time. Same here with me. I feel like that all of the time. I always feel like I just lost completely unfairly. One time I'll give for an example is I was hiding in a tree where I was, I was playing high explosives and the last other guy, by the way, I was doing amazingly this game, and the other guy shot a rock to the tree. I grappled onto the wall of a nearby thing and I hit the wall and landed and I died. And it was right next to the floor. That was so unfair. How dare I lose? That was so stupid. Um, that other guy who was a noob just won. I got so mad. Um, I never wore that skin I lost with again. I just got so mad. And to be honest, that was really unfair. Because I grappled onto the wall and it, I died of fall damage. That, that was completely unfair. I can really relate. I have so many other experiences with this. So many other experiences with this. That's why I placed second place 40 times. I think it's 30 or 40 times. I lost track um, so many times. And th almost all of them are unfairly. Like, seriously, unfairly. And it sucks. It really does suck. Um, I know how that feels, and I sort of have that by heart. The, the primary reason for this is because I can't build, at least not well. I've I, I asked other streamers and stuff for advice, and they say you don't build. I've seen your streams, you don't build. Uh, my fans say they don't build. I've seen posts about me on Reddit and elsewhere, like, I used to like Drifter, but then I watched him play Fortnite and get super mad because he never built. What a trash player, blah, 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 blah. Like, it's, it's so much stuff like that. And I'm so bad at building, dude. I box myself in on accident. I hit the wrong keys. My edits are slow. I often panic build in the wrong places. I, I build under ramps and get stuck in my own box, which is embarrassing. Okay, so I don't know if I can really relate to this. Um, I don't know why I keep saying relate. I don't want this whole video to just be, oh, I can relate to this. I can relate to this. No, I'm making this as a response. Just saying stuff that I can agree and disagree with. And I keep saying the word relate. Um, now, this is something I really just don't relate with. Oh, dang it, I said it again. Um, I am a decent builder. Not the greatest, nor the worst. But my reasoning is because I use Builder Pro on controller. I've been playing Fortnite on controller, on PC, since the beginning. Since season... Before there were even seasons. When I started this game, a really long time ago. And I've always, I just stuck with it. I think the main reason why is because a lot of the games I was playing at that time were first-person shooters. And I was really just used to the controller, even though I play a lot of games on... I'm, I'm not typing. Q. 
keyboard, I can't type because it'll end the recording. Um, but I do play on keyboard a lot. I played CSGO for over a year on keyboard. I've played Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for PC Zombies. I played that a lot on keyboard. I played Minecraft for five, six years, maybe even longer on keyboard. I don't even know how long I've owned Minecraft for. I would say around there. I've played tons of games on keyboard. I've also played a lot of games on controller, and I feel like I just do better at Fortnite on controller so maybe drifter you should try out controller a bit more i know i check your fortnite tracker you have played 100 matches on playstation maybe some more on other consoles controller's not that bad you might like it i know you played call of duty a lot on controller you played for so many years so many years you're such a call of duty og man uh, i hate the word og but i'll say it for that one occurrence um, but yeah, I maybe you should try it out a bit more. Maybe there's a reasoning you don't. Maybe you're used to keyboard and mouse. Maybe you just feel, see it as unfair. Maybe, uh, just don't want to. There's so many reasons why. I personally love playing on controller. It's not fun on PC, though, just because I deal with people who cheat. They plug in their controller, and then they unplug it, and then they just play on keyboard and mouse. I dealt with a streamer who killed me. Check out a stream. He was playing on keyboard and mouse, had all his keybinds, wrecked me. Um, I know how it is. Maybe you should give it a little bit more of a chance. I don't know. I've not seen that many Fortnite videos by you. Well, I have seen a decent amount by you, but I haven't seen anything where you've said that. Um, anyways, let's just keep on going with this video. And these are bad habits that I can conquer with practice. If I sit down and I practice really hard at building at Fortnite, I can get much more competent at it. That's the thing I have the skill set to do. Well, what isn't conquerable, at least not yet, is my instincts, which are 100% backwards for this game. I've been playing shooting games since Doom 1. I've been playing shooting games since the original Rainbow Six, since Unreal Tournament. I've been playing shooting games since before I could form proper sentences in English. And these games that I've played my whole life are all about shooting people or things and controlling good positions. Get the high ground, get the good position, get the gun, shoot the person. And at the end of the day, Fortnite looks like a shooting game and it pulls in a lot of people from that genre, but Fortnite is not a shooting game. Fortnite is just not that thing. Fortnite is a building game. It's a game about building, and building means winning fights. You don't really win a lot of fights in Fortnite without building unless you get a lucky snipe or something. However, it's new, it's, it's a year old, and I've come into this with 25 years of exactly the opposite of experience, like 25 years, like the entire history of first person shooters almost is what I've been playing, and my mind and my instincts, whatever, never wants to build. I have no desire to build. Uh, maybe like I get, the, I get the concept, right? Like maybe I'll build a little box around me for protection, or, oh, there's some guy up high, I'll build up to him, and then and then we once we reach the same level, we will have a gentlemanly duel and see who can shoot better. That does really hurt. Having years of experience in the complete opposite, just, just opposite. Like, you're so used to this, and it's this. And then you have to relearn everything. And I'm kind of baffled by this, too, that people like Ninja, Myth, Daquan, uh, Batifu... All these people, it's complete opposite for them, and they can just magically do it. I think the reason why is because they spend so many hours a day, and me and you just don't have the time to do that. Um, I do. Well, I kind of do, but I just don't want to. I don't have the desire to. Because at that point, the game would be more of just a job and not for fun. Um, we're going to discuss that more in this video, though, as he discusses that, too. Um, but I can see this. It does really hurt. And I, I'm a little bit of the opposite. I played my... I played Minecraft, let's see, 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's like seven years ago. I've been playing this game for like six, seven years. That is so long. And I'm so... Ooh, that was a nice snipe. And I'm so used to just build 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 bases build wa build walls build all this stuff i would have pvp wars with my grandpa my cousin yes they played minecraft too and they're actually pretty good at it we still do play um and we build like i'm sort of used to it by now and i 
understand that that's not really your thing and hope you get better at building. Um, I practice on keyboard and mouse. Not, no, I have not practiced. I have tried, I meant. I have tried to play on keyboard and mouse. And I will try to find one of the recordings. But I actually built, like, really fast. I built really fast. But I'm pretty used to building. I am. And I think the reason why is because I played Minecraft a lot. And in PvP, I played a lot. I played a lot of other things that required building a lot. And it was Minecraft. You craft things. You build things. I was sort of more used to that. Ooh, another kill. 26 kills I have. That is ridiculous. But I'm sort of the opposite. But I understand where he's coming from. And that really hurts. Playing all these shooter games and just not... You don't have no desire of building. Let's keep going with this video. And I honestly don't know if I'm going to cut any parts out. I cut like one part of this video out that... Of his video. Ouch, that sucks. That I just died of that guy. Um, But yeah... It, it, it is, um, I honestly just, just had a mental wipe. I don't even remember what I was saying. Um, let's just keep on going with this video. So, on to the next part. Or, you know, obviously you can climb up or down building and stuff like that, but my brain in Fortnite wants to fight, and it doesn't want to build all these boxes and triangles and edit holes and things like that. So I'll see my enemy, and I'm like, all right, I got you at a distance. I know where you're at. I'm going to aim my gun at you. I'm going to shoot you right in the head. And, you know, he sees me too, and I'm like, all right, this is going to be like a quick draw gunfight. We both see each other. We're going to shoot, and whoever has the best aim and strafe and stuff wins. But while I'm aiming, this dude all of a sudden builds like a four-story fortress and starts hyper-editing holes. And just, I mean, he's got enough time to start adding nice, like, handrails and decorations and stuff to it. Meanwhile, I'm still on the ground spamming at the building, and I realize, oh, this is a build fight. Yeah, this kind of happens to me too. You think you're going to get into a normal just gunfight and this guy just sits there, builds a five-story apartment complex and you start building up to him and he builds four more stories up and then he just jumps down and double pumps you. I don't know. Double pumps like what? Season three, season four? Um, I don't know why I said that. Yeah, um, that happens so much and to be honest, there's nothing you can really do to that. It's like... I guess, just get better at building, that's literally it, is just get good at building, have minigun, have dynamite, I'm not really sure, that's kind of a hard thing to really counter. Also, not a fan of the bloom mechanics in this game, I'm not going to harp on this too much, I really don't like the random bloom spread things, even with the first shot's accuracy, they always seem to betray me, they're very annoying. I play hitscan characters in Overwatch at diamond rank, and I can't hit anything in Fortnite. The most random noob has better aim than me in Fortnite, or more generous bloom, but I can play like McCree and Diamond, and I don't know, whatever. Yeah, a lot of people agree with you on that. I think that almost everyone wants there to be no bloom or anything like that, because you want to be rewarded when you hit a nice shot, and not just be not rewarded because there's bloom or bullet spread or whatever. Um, I can understand that. I also understand why Fortnite's doing this. It's sort of a luck thing, so it makes the game more fair. Like, my dad can come. My dad plays Fortnite occasionally, and it makes it more fun for him because he's not just being pummeled all of the time. He can have a decent chance from long-range distances or medium-range distances with ARs, but I don't think that's a valid excuse. I don't know. I could see why they do it, and that's to make the game more just wide appeal to everyone like hey you're not good at the game that's fine there's luck to it too hitting your shots and stuff i can understand that um also i'm playing save the world for this little part of the gameplay and the reason why is because i don't have any more battle royale footage and i don't have that much longer to record this video it's the next day actually i had to stop because i didn't have any more time to record this so um yeah i have to switch to save the world for a little bit hope you can understand that and yeah uh, but most days, I don't think I'm actually playing Fortnite for fun. I've got a chip on my shoulder half the size of my very own soul right now when it comes to Fortnite. Because I wanted to do something new with this channel and, and with my life. So this part really hurts because I can seriously relate to this. I know most of the time I play Fortnite now... It's not always for fun. It's honestly just so I can get more wins and I feel like I'm more better and I can make get better gameplay. I have not gotten one win on a video. Like, no, I made videos of me getting wins like that one I did not like a few days, like a week ago of like right as I got the win and the Infinity Blade. I've never gotten a win live. Like, I got one on the live stream once. I have recorded me like my wins, not my reaction to getting the win ever except for like once. 
And I know how that is. I do the same thing. I try to just play so I can get better. And I can get better gameplay. And I can get better just stuff in general. Like, who wants to watch 5 kill loss versus 5 kill win? Or who wants to watch this where you can get watch someone win or do better than you? And I know how that is. It really does suck. And I, I just don't know what to really say about that. Uh, and it, it, the, it, So I'm kind of tapped out there. And the Call of Duty community itself is really toxic. I don't think anybody in the Call of Duty community would say it's the most positive, uplifting thing. No, that's, that's a really toxic group, and the game launches and Activision decisions and stuff for the last couple of years have only made it even worse. And it's gotten so bad that most days I just don't care to be outraged. I've gone from angry to disheartened to just to just flat. That's why I haven't making all these videos just hating on stuff on my channel because it's just like whatever. It's more of the same, right? And I got tired of that. I wanted something new to do with my life. I wanted to be more. I wanted to do more. I wanted uh, to, to be popular for being funny or for my skills or a streamer or find some new hobby or some thing to kind of get into. And I, I tried a lot of new things, primarily YouTube related, from film reviews to vlogs to little skits to Overwatch to PUBG. But Fortnite, uh, none of that really took, honestly. That, some of it is doing okay, but in general it didn't really take. Overwatch almost did, but then I betrayed Overwatch to do Black Ops 3 and it was too late. This, this part actually really does suck because I, I know how that is. Drifter, I'm sorry. I, I, I know you want to be more than just the guy who does these philosophical commentaries. You want to be the funny guy. You want to be the entertaining one. You want to be known for your skill, not just, hey, there's Drifter, that guy who does those smart commentaries. Like, hey, there's Drifter. He's really funny, and he's pretty good at games. Or, I really look up to him. I think he's really funny, and I want to be as funny as him. Or, I want to be as good at games as him. And I usually look at you being pretty good at games, Drifter. I think you have some people who do think that. And I I'm just sorry. I hope you do more stuff on the channel like you said you did, like movie reviews and all that stuff. I'd love to see more of that. Fortnite seemed like a golden opportunity. There were so many channels that just restarted their whole lives on Fortnite because it was so popular. And uh, I just saw this like, golden opportunity to play Fortnite, to do something new with my life, to make a new kind of content. And I am terrible. I'm really it's kind of sad. I missed like that really hype alpha phase, like back in February and January and whatever. But I hated that alpha. Like the alpha Fortnite was so bad. I've been playing this game since October 2017, and I made one video in that like really early stage. And that one video was like near the end of season two, so I missed out on that kind of too. Um, I did a little in season three. Well, I actually did a, quite a lot of content in season three, but. Not as much as I wished. Um, I understand that, though. I sort of wish I did more content back in those days, too. I realized pretty early on that making guides in Fortnite, like, in-depth, weren't really going to gain me any traction. In order to do them successfully, I had to clickbait them, like, new amazing gun, guaranteed win every time, or just just do insane clickbait and lie. Uh, so getting making my guides quality didn't really matter because the YouTube algorithm would just promote the clickbait. And the guides would get outdated because of patches. I still did them because I was trying to develop other skills and, and work on things. And I was just like, I'm going to do guides for now, right? But uh, the videos that were doing well, at least on YouTube, and the things that people wanted in the Fortnite community was all about streaming. And it was all about being live and live commentaries and playing with fans. And that's what I wanted to join in on. The problem is, no matter how hard I played... I never actually got good at the game. I never got much good gameplay to present. I never had really anything to show off. So I'm like, hey, I'm that guy that used to do Call of Duty. Now I'm kind of mediocre at Fortnite. Great. This part too, I really know how that feels. Like, look at me. I make Fortnite videos too. And the only things I can really do are Fortnite gameplay videos. And I have to make them like funny moments, moments because I'm not going to be able to title it 15 kill win, OMG gameplay, last kill off, Tilted Towers, 360 no scope. I'm not going to be able to make those videos ever. And I try so hard to get good at this game. I take notes. I watch videos. I've even considering hiring coaches. I've tried everything, and I feel like no matter how much I try, it's not ever going to help. It's not. And to be honest, I sort of just think that is true. I think it's the small amount of people who can spend 12 hours a day might have a chance, but me personally, I'm not going to have a chance of getting good. I have to relate more, relate more on just being the funny guy 
and making more funny videos and commentaries because I'm not going to be that guy who's the really good one. I'm going to be the guy who's the really entertaining one. And I think Drifter, you might have to work on that too because I've seen some of your videos like Mother I'd Like to Frag and that one was so funny. I think you have a chance of being funny, dude. You really should. I love that one. You're like, yeah, I'm really into old ladies or something. I forgot what you said. That was so funny. Just try, Drifter. I think you actually have a chance. And streaming, I can't ever stream. I barely can. And I, when I do, it does decent. Get 30 views. It, not that bad. But, yeah, it's a lot about streaming now. I understand that. And... I compared to other people that were doing this and doing this well and, you know, just becoming huge gaming personalities or whatever. I was literally a potato. I was a no-skin. I was awful. And I was like, well, that's nothing that I can't fix with practice and effort, right? I totally get I'm behind. I can't become ninja overnight. That's not going to happen. Wrong. I got worse over time. I practiced. I watched guides. I watched streams. I asked for advice. And I literally got worse. I think I'm still literally getting worse at Fortnite. You're seeing curated gameplay. You're seeing the good stuff right now. Uh, I got worse. I tried my ever-living heart out. I tried harder at Fortnite than I did to break into Diamond and Overwatch. Uh, while I was getting worse somehow, despite my best efforts, everyone else was getting better. And now I was so far left in the dust that I was just like a dusty potato. I was just nothing in this, this whole thing that I wanted. So I kept trying and trying and dying and losing. And it began to grind on me. Or more accurately, it began to grind on my hopes. Because I wanted to use Fortnite to just kind of bust out and do live commentary and stream and do you know new fun things. But it seemed like there was no place for me in this game. There was no way for me to win. No strategy that worked. Nothing that entertained the stream. No amount of effort. No amount of positive attitude change. Nothing really worked. I would try my heart out. I'd try it harder, so hard. But for some reason, Fortnite had a, a secret about it, a mythos, something strange that just completely eluded me that I was never able to learn. Yeah, that kind of does happen. Like, I've been trying to just succeed and get better, but no matter what I do, I just feel like I'm getting worse or I'm not improving. And to be honest, I can really relate to this. I just want to be better at the game and I try and lose and die over and over and over and over again. And I just feel all right with enough like with enough training, I can get good. I can be a good player. But I just I can't. I know how this feels. I can really relate to just I can really relate Drifter. I really can. I know how it feels. It does suck. I want to get better, but I can't. No matter how much I try, I feel like I'm getting worse over time. Now, personally, I feel like I've been getting a little better, like, with the seasons. But I feel like a few seasons ago, I was actually better than I am now in some ways. But at the same time, I'm better than I was back then in some ways, too. It's just... It, it, I understand that mythos. You don't, I don't understand it. How someone can get a hundred wins and be like younger than me or something that's completely weird. Or they have one hand or something random. And it's like, how? How are they capturing that? How are they doing that? Is it the constant playing? Is it the occasional playing? Is it just luck? Is it skill? What is it? I don't know. I guess it's a mix of all of them. I just don't know. I can I understand Drifter. I really do. For a little bit, I blamed the game. I was like, ah, you know, building's wonky. Ah, you know, it's a kid's game. Ah, you know, it's got bloom. Ah, you know, the shotguns are random. But every successive update that Epic did, uh, maybe minus the airplanes, has been consistently to make the game less random. So over time, there were just less and less things for me to blame until the only thing left for me to blame was myself. And playing the game and dying over and over and over and over again, having only myself to blame for, for dying, for being so bad at this and for being weak and for being a failure is not good. It's not healthy. It's not a positive mental attitude, right? No, it's really not that good to keep blaming yourself and saying you're a failure all the time. It's not. Like, every time... I play and my dad watches me because he knows how the game runs and he plays games. Um, he'll watch me. He's like, get in that fight. You can do it. And I'm like, all right. He's in a shotgun me. I'm dead. He's like, what are you talking about? No, you can do it. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to die. I already know it. 
And it gets to me. Like, I know how that is. It does. It gets to me. Like, I always am like, all right, um, two people left. Me and this guy, he's going to shotgun me. He's going to blast me. He's going to have five rocket launchers. Um, he's going to have way more materials than me. I'm going to die of fall damage. Something's going to happen, and it's only my fault for that. I could have maybe got more materials. I could have prevented that dying of fall damage. I could have done this, and I'm a failure for doing that, and I suck. I, you can't, I know, you can't always keep doing that, and yeah, I can understand that. And th that's how it felt, you know? I never really got mad at Epic about the game, because obviously it's not the game, it's my fault. I only got mad at myself for failing to succeed. The one thing that I wanted to do most, to change my life, to do something positive and good, I couldn't do and I got worse at it and worse at it and it's like getting further away from your goal It's like swimming as hard as you can to get out out of a river or like a riptide and only being pulled further back in And it just wore down my heart Honestly, it, it, it crushed me and that's what made me so angry at Fortnite. That's why I flipped out That's why I screamed. That's why I punched walls and I got mad and pulled hair and made a big fucking fit about it on stream and all this kind of stuff it's because it, it felt like when I was dying my goals for the future were dying with them a part of me was was dying thankfully Call of Duty Blackout came out and that's been great for me I had you know I've had something else to play for a while now but it still kind of makes me sad because I want to participate in Fortnite. I see this game, I recognize it, I know how fun it is. You know, I've gone to tournaments. I think, on, like, honestly, the uh, I started getting worse about this after the tournament. I don't know why. The tournament, I placed most, so much better in the tournament that I went to than I ever thought I would have. And I was like, hey, you know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm learning something. Maybe I'm doing something good. And then I got even worse. And, oh, my God, it broke my heart. So, uh, but I still want to do Fortnite. I still want to play this game and have fun. The problem is, even with all of this perspective and, you know, introspection and time off and try to be more positive and better attitude, it still gets me very tilted. Every time I make a bad mistake, it's just an instant reminder of all the things I've done in the past. All the times I got mad and hurt myself. All the times I embarrassed myself on stream. All the times I couldn't learn something. All the times I said something shitty to my wife because I was mad at games. It just, it, it just all comes back, and that's very hard to deal with, and I still get very tilted at Fortnite. And you know what? Despite all of this, I'm stepping back up to play Fortnite again no matter how bad it hurts and a lot of you guys are like wow this sounds like an abusive relationship I don't really think of it that way uh, and you're gonna ask well why if you get so mad at the game why not just quit and the answer is I want something I have hope for something I have goals I have desires I have dreams there's something that I want to do with Fortnite I also have a bad attitude problem with being told I can't do something and being unsuccessful. It kind of pisses me off and I want to keep going at it. It's a totally different issue. Actually, that's a very related issue. Uh, but, but these goals that I have, these, these desires, these successes, these changes in my life that I want will not just materialize out of thin air. It's not going to go poof. I'm not going to find a magic lamp. I'm not going to stumble into the next Fortnite next week and become the next ninja or whatever. I don't even know if that's what I really want to be, to be honest with you. But I'm just ready to change. So I have to work for it. And I have to work at Fortnite to get better. And most importantly, i got to work on myself. I have a, a lot of self-work to do. And I've, I've done a lot this year, but I've got a long way to go. And from this point on, you are probably going to see more Fortnite on the channel. Probably going to start again in the new new year with some Fortnite content. And hopefully I don't get stark raving mad at it. And guys, that is all for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out. All right. Um, I wanted to let that whole part play. It was like three, four minutes long. I apologize if you had to just got bored watching that whole part, but I felt like I had to leave that whole part in, that entire part. I was going to keep doing this little cut, but I just didn't want to. I watched that whole thing and just got lost in it because just it made me really emotional. I got a little off off which got off microphone. I was going to say off camera, but I'm not recording this. I got a little emotional because I feel I'm sorry Drifter. I know how it is. I've been trying so hard. I just every time I play second place, every time I get so close to winning and then I just 
goes away. And then if someone asks me how many wins do I have, and I have to tell them 30, and it's like, ha ha, you suck, you're a failure. Why? Why couldn't you do better? Why can't you have 50? Why can't you have 100? Why can't you have more? And I don't know how to respond. Do I just say, I play second place a lot? Do I say I'm a failure? Do I say, oh, I only play the large team modes? Because that is true. I play a lot of these modes because they make me more comfortable. Because I just can't go through that again. Just placing that, getting that close, and just going away. It just goes away. It does. It just... I feel like that every time I do lose the same thing, I feel like it's just going farther and farther away. That it just I'm not going to be able to get more wins on camera, or I'm not going to be able to do as good, or I'm 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 just I'm not good. And it does. It just hurts. It does, and it just makes me hurt every time that happens. And if you watch this whole video. Thank you. I, I'm not trying to be this, oh, woe is me. I have a horrible life. I do decent at Fortnite. I'm not a, just a crying just sack all the time going, guys, oh, look at this game. I don't do that all the time. I'm, I'm just doing it for this once to just relate to somebody and tell them, hey, I go through some of the same things that you do. I place, I get really close to winning a lot and I lose all the time. And then it hurts me. It makes me feel like I just suck. And I wanted this. I wanted Fortnite to just be something different. I wanted this. I played so many games on this channel. Minecraft for years. I did what other games? I've done so many games. And all of those games, I just wanted to be the best at this one. I wanted to. I wanted to be the guy who made those videos like, Hey man, I just got a 10 kill victory without my first try. Or I got two back-to-back -back wins. And then I know friends who just started this game, and they already have way more wins than me. And I just, it, it does hurt. It does. It really does. And you're probably seeing right now me dying, and I'm just, it hurts. And that guy right there is just setting me back. Now, this isn't a higher team, just in a big, um, what you call it, a big team mode, so it doesn't hurt that much, but sometimes it does. Getting so close and then just blaming yourself. So... Uh, Drifter, if you ever watch this video, you know what? I sent you a friend request on Fortnite. Why not? Just why not? I did that because I'm bored. Why not? I don't think anything will ever come of that. I did it for fun. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, whatever gameplay you're seeing right now is probably just some random backup footage. Um, I'm sorry this video is so long. I've been working on this video for three, four days now. Just working and working and working and working and working at it. And I can finally, finally relax. I recorded this at 4.32 p.m. December 22nd. I think I started this like so, like a few days ago. And I've been working and thinking about this constantly. And I hope this video isn't one I'm going to look back and say, Wow, that was a really bad video. I hope I look back at this video and say, Wow, that's the time where Caden was not doing that good at Fortnite. And he wanted to just make a video to his favorite YouTuber telling him that he can relate to him and that he tries to win a lot and he just can't. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I spent so long on this, so I'm definitely going to upload it now. And remember, you only live once, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Hopefully I get better at Fortnite. You too, Drifter. You're better than me, probably.